Hey, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would love to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. Uh, blessings and safety to the men, women, and children that believe on the name Yahabah Shimei Awasha in truth and sincerity. To you, I say Shalom. All right. It says British government offering farmers lump sum payments to stop growing food and sell their land. It says the United Kingdom has introduced a new program that offers lump sum fiat cash payments to farmers who agree to stop farming and sell their often multi-generational family-owned land to the government. It says, according to reports, farmers who accept the cash must either retire or take on a different job of which the government approves. The British government is calling the program a basic payment scheme, BPS. The proposal is allegedly to fulfill green policy agendas, writes Mike Campbell for the counter signal. Older farmers who don't want to change their farming methods are being asked to quit or sell their land. In turn, new farmers can adopt alternative environmentally friendly farming techniques. OK, and ultimately, man, we know the purpose of this, man. OK, and matter of fact, let's get a quick precept. OK, this is uh, the book of Second Corinthians, chapter two, verse 11. It says, let Satan shall get an advantage of us, for we're not ignorant of his devices, man. OK, and this is talking about the spiritual demon, physical counterpart, Esau. Eat them, okay? He's not going to get an advantage of us, man. Because, hey, we know that he's the devil, man. We know that he's our enemy. And we know that he does nothing righteous, man. Okay? He's 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 all left-hand-sided, okay? So he's not going to get an advantage of us. Because why, man? The Lord has uh, uh, has uh, revealed this, de this devil's true intentions, man. It says, for we're not ignorant of his devices, which means we're not in the darkness, man, of his evil purposes. OK, and ultimately, OK, we know that this devil, he's uh, engineering a famine. OK, now. OK, I, I came across a couple articles you know, dealing with, uh, you know, farmland. Uh, in America, okay, and you know, Kill Gates and um, Warren Buffett, man, okay, uh, uh, bought up majority of the farmland in America. And uh, let me see, I just got this new article, it's from July 5th of 2022. It says, Kill Gates just won legal approval to buy 2,100 acres of North Dakota farmland worth 13.5 million and people are livid about it all across the state okay now I do believe that Bill Gates own about own about he own majority of the farmland in 19 states in America man okay and it's not a coincidence man Okay, and you gotta understand this is the same devil, Shalakia. This is the same devil, okay? Here go another article. It says Bill, it says Keel Gates insists we must move to hundred percent plant-based beef to tackle climate change, man. So this is the same devil. And I wish you uh, brothers and sisters could see the smile on this devil face as if he wouldn't hurt a fly, man. Okay. But <laughs> this devil wants to, he wants that beyond meat to be all over the world, man. Okay. And you know, that shit is poison. 
okay? Because, hey, man, you know, this devil has, man, you know, that's another topic. You know, I'm going to just stick, you know, to the topic at hand, man, okay? But this devil, okay, he's uh, ultimately, you know, uh, 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 ushering in a famine, man. And, and, and by doing so, okay, he's going to get that uh, chaos that he wants, okay? Okay, because, hey, he's the uh, uh, the master of uh, creating a problem and uh, bringing a solution, okay? Which we know that his ultimate solution is going to be that tiny technology, okay? That's going to be the ultimate solution, okay? But before that solution, you got a uh, uh, martial law, you know, concentration camps and things like that, man. And him uh, uh, lawfully uh, putting you to death, him uh, 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 throwing you in prison indefinite for, 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 for without a cause, okay? But, you know, the, the topic that we're speaking about and dealing with is this famine. And it's about to happen because it's prophecy, man. Okay, this is uh, 2 Ezra 6 and 22. It says, and suddenly shall the song places appear on song, man. And hey, like this article say, uh, British government offering farmers lump sum payments to stop growing food and sell their land, man. Because if, if that land is in the hand of the government, the government will make sure that that uh, no food is being grown. OK, hey, Bill Gates, who you think who you think he has to answer to, man? You think he's just he's just, just the top dog? No. OK, he has to answer to the elites. They're the top dogs, man. OK. On a carnal level, okay? Because, man, we know Yahabah Shimei Shah is the one that's uh, uh, using them to bring these things to pass, okay? All credit is due to the uh, Heavenly Father and His Son, man. But, you know, so at the end of the day, they're, they're going to make sure nothing is being grown, which is prophecy, okay? Second Ezra 6 and 22, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, okay? And that's going into the farmland. It says, and suddenly, which means unexpectedly, man, things are going to stop being grew, okay? And um, verse, uh, it says, and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty, man. And we also know that due to the, you know, the the the, the, the inflation, okay, the, the, the price of diesel, okay, the price of uh, different things that uh, farmers uh, need to uh, continue to grow, they're they're uh on uh uh they're uh at an all time high man. Okay, I was just watching. I did a lesson dealing with that. How you know farming uh, is becoming a, a headache, man, due to the, the the prices of things, man. Okay, so there's a, an attack, you know, on uh, the transportation, you know, due to the diesel, the gas prices. Okay, you got uh just in the media last week, one hundred and fifteen thousand. Uh, 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 rail work, rail workers were were gonna uh, up and leave, man, or or go on some type of strike. Okay, and we know that these different goods are uh, get transported through America via you know ship, you know via uh, train, via you know eighteen wheelers, via plane, man. Okay, so we can see, you know this, you know a uh, famine. Uh, uh, being uh, orchestrated or engineered, okay? And, um, you know, I want to get a quick precept, man, okay? You have to bring this precept out, man. This is Revelations uh, 12 and 12. It reads, um, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. And it says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time, man. Okay? And that devil, that word devil, okay, it goes back to the Latin word diablos, man. Which means a, a what? A man, a false accuser, a man. Uh, he says uh, metaphorically applied to a man who opposes the will of the Heavenly Father, man. So the devil's an actual man, okay? And that devil is talking about these elites, man. Esau, eat them, okay? He's about to come down having great wrath, man. He's about to come down having extreme anger. Okay, time is ticking. Okay, the scripture said what? He knoweth that he had but a short time, man. And this devil, he's trying to fulfill his NWO. He has a whole agenda to fulfill, man. Okay, and by bringing a famine, it will help, uh, it will help uh, progress his agenda. Okay, because what, man? No fool brings what? 
riots, man, uproars, man, a chaos, man. Okay, and then what? He can bring the order, which is going to be what? These troops throwing you niggas in the concentration camps, okay? Him uh, 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 legally, lawfully uh, gunning you down, man, okay? Him, uh, you know, doing what he, what he want to do, man. And 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 and, and, and you people think he's uh, justified in doing so? All right, you know this is this is about to happen. You know, uh, 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 starving, starving people is an act of war, man. You know, you cut the food supply. That's an act of war. Okay, this 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 is a part of this devil's sword, man. You know, because hey, man, you you you, you know deception. Is this plan A, okay? But hey, man, the Lord has uh, risen up the prophets, all right, to uh, uh, uncover this devil lies, man, okay? The prophets have every finger pointed to Esau, man. He's being bagged into a corner, okay? He only has what? The sword left, man, and he's about to come down with that sword, man, okay? And ultimately, like I said earlier, it's how about Shimei I was shot, all right, that's uh, doing these things, okay? The scriptures say what? The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as rivers of water. He turneth to weather so every will, man. Okay? And this is why the scriptures want to remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Uh, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. <laughs> you know, because, hey, man, ultimately, it has to be Yahweh Shemi Shah that protects you, man. Okay? The scriptures say a horse is prepared against a day of battle, but safety is of the Lord, man. Okay? But this is Psalm 17 and 13. It says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, man. Okay? And hey, man, the Lord is about, he's about to cast this devil down, man. He's about to cast him down off that horse, which represents power, man. Okay? It says, Disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, man. Okay? And ultimately, like I said, this all goes back to the Lord, all praise and, and, and glory and honor and, and credit goes to the most high, man, because he's uh, he's the one orchestrating this movie. He's directing this movie. OK, so, hey, you know, I hope this was edifying and I want to give all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakaq, Till next time, a shalom.